Welcome folks to Space Engineers. So this is actually one of my long uh, favorite games. I remember I originally started uh, playing this game back in, I'll say like 2012, 2013, back when it was like alpha Kickstarter uh, time. And uh, yeah, I, I absolutely love this game. So in this game, uh, I think we're gonna do a survival type game. Uh, maybe even a little bit of an RP, uh, we'll see. All right, uh, I do have some mods on here, but it's not going to be mod intensive. So let's go ahead and do a new game. We're going to go to a custom game. And we're going to call this The Long Run. Description. Survival RP. Who knows? Uh, auto save is good. Let's do advanced. Character size at three, realistic. The similar speed, welding speed. Yeah, these are all good. Uh, sound, realistic. Limit world size. Take off those. We'll take off. Uh, we'll do in game scripts. Take off in progression. I'm not a huge fan of the progression. see for mods okay so like I said I have a very large amount of mods here but we're gonna go with dead text re recharge station I always like that one it's like a cool little uh, recharge station that's uh, a little bit more manageable I guess wait I don't need the five I don't need that one <clears throat> aerodynamic ring wings is always really really good Let's see, we'll do compact batteries. Those are good for like uh, drones and, and things like that. Oh, gotta have the industrial cockpits. That's always a really good one. Scaffolding is always good. Uh, plane parts, air traffic. Um, compass, definitely need that. Okay. Air traffic, scaffolding, pocket gear. Ooh, stackable wind turbines. That is a good one. And you know what? I think that's it. I don't really need much. And uh, I'm going to go down to the Pertam Orbiter. That looks good. Okay, here we go. This has got to be one of my, uh, I think it's like one of my favorite starts just because of where you start in the, the space station. Excuse that. <laughs> it does sometimes take a little bit of time to load in just because of the amount of mods and things like that. Also, if you're wondering about the music, this isn't Space Engineers music. I uh, threw on some sci-fi royalty free just because I don't want to get any copyright infringements or anything like that. So. Here we have the enhanced welder, which is definitely uh, a good thing to have. And over here, we can go into the tools. 
replace this with that. Get our grinder, grind this down. Ah, you know what? You know what the one I totally forgot to put on is uh quiet tools. And it's also showing me here that uh let me let me turn that down actually. Because that's gonna drive me nuts if I gotta listen to that as well. So music all the way down, sound volume. Let's bring that down as well. Voice chat, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, that's a little bit better. We we can deal with that. Okay, so we got a jukebox. We got some, uh, man, everything's access tonight. See, this is what happens when you uh, enable the progression. Because normally you can grind it down and then repair it back and gain access to whatever it is that you were trying to get into. But if you do progression, uh, that's your, you can't, <laughs> simply put. So we got an airlock, opens this side up. Let's see what do we got in here. We got a lot of computers. Okay. Got a big old refinery. I like the uh, the heavy industrial update. It's pretty cool for that. Lots of steel plates and interior plates. All good. All good. Okay. And then let's see. We got another button over here. Opens up. We got ourselves a little a little mining ship. I'm taking these out because I'm probably going to be doing runs in and out, uh, taking some things apart. We got iron ore right there. Did a cool little miner ship. But that, that is what I'm looking for right there. So this big boy ship actually has. You got some timer blocks as well as some uh, uh, motion sensors. So when you come up close, it opens up the door. And you have this cool little rover. Huh, excuse me for yawning. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. And it's all like ready to go. So one of the things that I like to do before I head out and do things or whatever it is I'm trying to do I will come in and uh, see if we get some interior plates here. Okay, that's good. Come on up. I like to give myself some extra uh, storage. Small cargo container. And then, a lot of times, I will do like on the back of these engines here I'll put some cargo containers because once we land I can just run over and literally just pick whatever I need out of here Okay, so it looks like we need some metal grids, some computers, no, motors. We need metal grids, motors. That's all we need. That's actually uh, pretty doable. What do we got in here? We got power cells. See, now that is a, an exact reason why we need all the storage, because in order to make batteries, uh, we need those power cells, and they are super heavy, so you're not able to take so many of them at once. All right, let's see what we got in here. I know, I know, we got some stuff around here. We got displays, motors. We got just a couple motors and one motor. So okay. I think we need like ten. We got med kit. That's always good. Oxygen bottle.
So this is like a little escape pod. So if you come in here, uh, you can actually press that button and you will, the door behind you will close and you will end up uh, free, free falling straight down. So now we got a enhanced grinder, welder, and a hand drill. So we're gonna just take both of those out. As long as we don't die, we'll, we'll just keep these with us. Okay, let me see. Which means that once you put that in your inventory, you have to go back through your tools and replace your tools on your toolbar with the new ones. Otherwise, it won't uh, it won't register. So this is a hydrogen engine. It's pretty good, but it's got a lot of parts on it. more motors in here okay now we just need uh need a couple more motors and the metal grids so we're just going to come over here and just drop some things off okay let's go find us some mo uh, some motors and grids Let's see, we do need an antenna, but not at this exact moment. Hmm, let's see, what do we got here? Nope, interior plates. Okay, so these shelves are actually pretty good because they have a lot of components. You just gotta grind them down and you'll get them. There's like two, oh, here we go, we got motors. And what was the other thing we need? Uh, Grates. So we got more power cells, computers. Those are good. Ooh, it's a good weapon right there. Small steel tubes. I'm looking for metal grids. I know they're around here somewhere. We'll find them. Yep, here we go. Oh, it's part of the refinery. Of course it is. Okay, so let's drop uh, some items off. <coughs> mm. No, there's a cargo container right here. We'll just kind of keep some stuff in there until we need it. Try to make it easy on ourselves, you know? We can actually break down this entire thing and that actually will give us a pretty good jump off point. That's a lot of steel plates right there. Okay, so we need the metal grids and we need the motors. So let's go ahead and just take this real quick. Let's beat feet over to the, the biggin. I don't know what to call it yet. We'll figure something out. There we go. So we got that one open. And we got that one open. Okay, now we can start kind of transferring some items in there. And this is like not to completely tear down this entire station or anything like that. What I'm doing is I'm just trying to give myself a little bit of um, a jump start when it comes to items and, and whatnot so we don't have to spend a lot of time you know grinding the resources in order to get ourselves just a small foot uh foothold you know there we go let's get some more actually we're gonna need an antenna for sure 
there's a couple things that you want to focus on. You want to get stuff for a refinery, uh, an antenna, uh, batteries. Speaking of which, let's get these bad boys over here. For for one battery, you need 20 of these. So plan accordingly. Okay, 27, 27. Okay, so my energy is getting low, which means I need to get over to a uh, charging port, which we have up here. I know there's one in the ship. There we go. Just replies, uh, gets our power back up, and if we have a oxygen generator, it would also do that as well. one what's in here oh med packs okay cool I know there's supplies I can ground down parts of the ship but I don't really want to uh, do that at the moment let's see what do we got here uh, that's not the one we got it over here okay okay 75 so we got at least at least three batteries so we should probably get a solar panel. To charge the batteries. And of course, more is better when it comes to that. It's faster recharging. So let's go grab another one. And get a little bit more of the antenna here, which I believe the radio components, yep. The radio components are really, really heavy, so. Alrighty. Okay, so we're only at 3,000. We still got 15,000 uh, for weight, so we're still good. Yeah, I see how quickly that fills up. That's insane. Moving on up, moving on up. So, especially for the planet that we're going to, Pertan, um, they have dust storms, and in the dust storms you actually have uh, like lightning strikes. And one of the things that you can do to stop lightning strikes is put up an antenna. The lightning will strike the antenna, and if you're clever, you can actually set it uh, to kind of like a conveyor uh, type belt. Not belt, but a conveyor tube with a welder, and have it so it auto uh, repairs itself after a lightning strike, so that way you don't have to worry about lightning strikes. Okay, so I think we have what, three uh, of these solar panels. That should be good. We should be all right on that. Okay, let's see. Let's get some more. We need all of these, that's for sure. Okay, right, we'll get some more. Motors, power cells, metal grids, all that good stuff. That's all stuff that we need. Okay, so we were at 75 power cells before, but now that we got an extra five in there, we have enough for four batteries, which is, uh, that's pretty good. Though, with the mod compact batteries, instead of uh, needing 20 for a base size uh, battery, we can actually use less batteries, or less uh, power sources for small batteries for like drones and, and vehicles and things like that so it's definitely helpful let's see what we've got in here computers let's take some computers we'll take 300 of those um,
Okay. You know what? I think... I think this is a good amount. Let me see. Let's just double check. I need uh, to make sure. Uh, plenty of computers, metal plates, motors. We have plenty of power cells, construction components, computer, radio. Oh! The one thing that we do need that we don't have to help us out. Well, I mean, we have the... Uh, survival station but you don't really want to just rely on that so the other thing is the medical components they too are very heavy but not as much as the radio components just get all this out of my way Alrighty, get this in there. Yeah, those medical components are like gold. You need those, man. That's also how you can uh, change your suit, the way that it looks. You know, if you have any special skins. Okay. And if you hook it up to a. Uh, not hydrogen maker, but an oxygen farm uh, storage and producer and things like that. When you go up there to recharge your suit, it will also recharge your oxygen as well. I need to find... I'm looking at my oxygen and I'm just below half, so... Not a huge concern for alarm at the moment, but I want to make sure I do have oxygen in my system, which I know there are some inside that little base that's in there, so we'll make sure that we get some of that. Oh boy, oh boy. Da, 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 da. Okay, get those in there. We're almost done, almost done. Just make sure we grab, snag some oxygen, and then we are on our way. Cool, got it. Alright, so, let's take a look around here one last time before we go. That's right. I think it's inside of here. We need to go in here. Boom. Uh, was it this one? Bulletproof, bulletproof glass is always needed. That's, that's a good one. So let's get that. And we'll need displays as well for cockpits and whatnot. Oxygen bottle. Well, we don't have the room. Mass, 30. There it goes. Okay. Now we have oxygen. So if it gets too low, it will actually automatically um, use it. Okay. That was the last. That was the last bit. All right, let's let's get ready for embarking. Just throw this in here. Okay, just double check. We got motors, check. We got plenty of power cells. We got interior plates. We got computers, displays, bulletproof glass, oxygen, steel plates, construction, large steel tubes, small steel tubes. Let's make sure we got some Okay, good, good, good. Solar panels. Displays, radio comms, medical components. I think we are good. Oh, which is a good time because we are getting low on energy. Oh, 
All right. So goals of this playthrough. I don't know. I mean, just this episode. Okay. One is to land safely. That's for sure. So let's head on down. Turn off the inertial dampeners so that way we can go at top speed. And then once we let up off the, uh, the gas, so to say, we will continue going the same speed and we won't have uh, the initial dampeners slowing us down. Okay, so, goal one, land safely. I think we have a parachute to help with that fact, but I'm pretty good, I'm, I think I can, I can land us pretty good. Two, find um, a suitable area to set up a base, or at least an outpost. Three, look for ice. We need to find somewhere that has ice. Um, we may take the little rover out and about to go look for that but we're going to need ice for the oxygen. Uh, we got to focus on that first and foremost. Uh, four, then we got to look for iron uh, deposits and other type of uh, minerals. Mark those so that we know where they, they are. Uh, five would be to set up the antenna on the base to protect us from lightning. And so far we're going to go with just those five, just for the moment. So it shows here on the bottom right that we have 12 out between 7 to 12 hours depending on how much I'm moving around of power. That's more than enough. And let me see. This planet is so big that it doesn't look like you're actually approaching it, like that you're getting <laughs> anywhere. But it is, it's, you'll get there pretty quickly. All right, come on, come on, come on. So once you see numbers uh, popping up, like in the middle of the planet, uh, counting right there, that lets you know that you're actually getting really close. So if you look closely on the sides of the planet, you can actually see the ozone or the the atmosphere layer that's there. My overall goal on this game, at least with this playthrough, is to get myself to have a self-sufficient base that I can produce and keep my own oxygen. So whether it's through plants or mining of ice. Uh, also, I want to have a, like a triangulation of antennas or an, a satellite that we can launch into space to cover like GPS and things like that and uh, to establish like a military presence on the on the uh, on the planet whether it's through superior air, air power or tanks or something like that but enough that if there's any drones or anything that comes sniffing around uh, we can adequately defend ourselves
What is that? There's some type of... I don't know if you can see the little 8,000 kilometer distance. There's something over there, but I have no idea what it is. All right, I'm turning the inertial uh, dampeners back on just because we are kind of going down kind of fast. So once we get pretty close, we're going to actually want to pull up because the gravity will, I mean, no, duh, pull us down. But uh, we don't want to be falling faster than we can push ourselves up, essentially. Hello, engineer. My name is Goodbye. I am an AI teacher that helps you by offering directions. Let's get started. You can access useful information in the help screen. Press F1 to help open the help screen. I'm um, good, thank you. The other thing that you can also do is uh, the parachute. If you feel like you're falling just a little bit too quickly. I'm just trying to level off here. So that we don't burn all of our hydrogen that's in our systems. Okay, so you see this little gray spot that's on the desert? Oh! <laughs> okay. Parking engaged. Oh, look at that. Our uh, our lander is A-OK. -okay. Or not lander. I should say the, uh, the little bungee guy. Buggy. And we have our cargo containers are OK. Well, even though our ship has crashed, we actually have a majority of our... Um, stuff intact. So we're okay on that aspect. Alright, so I... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I did not turn off the engines. Silly me. Okay, so let's go to... Is it G? Oh, no, 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 no. I control panel uh, hydrogen thrusters off okay whoo now we're okay so now we gotta do is we can access this one good 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 and this one we should be okay we have do we have access to the thing? And hopefully it's okay. Power on. I think we got to... I think there's a... Yeah, there's a magnetic plate right here. Ooh, I think this thing has like a hydration, uh, not hydration, I'm sorry, hydrogen engine in it too. Okay, well, what's up? Oh, is the parking brake on? There we go. Ooh, okay, we are, we are good. We have our little cruiser. Okay, so let's park this guy. And let's just assess our situation. So, landing did not go as planned, but it was not as bad as it could have possibly been. Our rover is intact, and I'm guessing has supplies. Oh, look at we have extra oxygen, hydrogen. Okay. And we're now on the planet. So... I'm going to call it here, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.